This is an original painting by Ellen Van Lahr. Ellen Van Lahr. And tell us about your paintings. And what, are, what are you capturing in this wonderful image that, that we've been enjoying since we've met you here on the, on the lake shore? Well, I moved up here from Michigan because I fell in love with the lake. And I got here and I thought, oh, what skills can I bring to the area? What can I bring, you know, that is me and to what I love? And uh, I'm kind of obsessed about the arts, writing and painting and music. And, and you did arts before you came here. You were Yes, teaching and all. You were teaching. So now um, I try to capture the spirit of the lake. And then there was this, a dragon theme that came out. And this is about light refraction in the light. So in order to get the real beauty of water, you need light. Mm -hmm. So somehow I, I ended up doing a lot of big things with sun splays. And this, this is kind of, you know, this marble gumball effect. Just, I know it looks kind of, you know, like a fantasy world. You know, that's what light does to trees, to land, to water, and everything. So I've, I've had a lot of fun playing with that. This is actually a cliff, but in this area there's a lot of this multicolored rock yep. in the Jacobsville sandstone that you've seen. And there's the pinks and the reds, and so you play with that. And then we have the black basalt, and it's all mixed together. And I have pictures of sunsets that you wouldn't believe. In, um, this is not unrealistic. <laughs> I think this well, is realistic in. about what the beauty of the lake is. Well, thanks again, eh? You're welcome. Bye. We saw a, a lot of your work at the visitor center at the at Lake Superior Provincial Park, which was wonderful. You have a lot of variation in what you do. Oh, thank you. A lot you. of your your work, and you've you've captured so many different images. Dragons, though, seem to be a big part of what you do. Well. We got into dragons because of our grandkids, and also there's the dragon pictures on the cliffs in the Lake Superior Provincial Park. Mm -hmm. And I even started a column at the Algoma News Review. It's a family discussion column. And Mitch, well, he's a shapeshifter, and he's, he's connected with native folklore. And he uh, shapeshifts when he's scared or mad. And he just uh, kind of observes the environment, that would be animals or trees or anything, and uh, just reacts in, in kind of an uh, innocent way, which is the way we like to see people react. Th thoughtful, but like, you know. As an artist, what do you see in the lake that you think others often miss? Mystery. To me, water and is so mysterious and emotional. You don't see what's underneath the surface. Mm -hmm. You see a reaction to the light and the wind, and uh, it it is so responsive. And that's something you you don't think of it as being alive like a tree, mm -hmm. but it's even more alive because it has so much emotion and reactivity to the things that are impacting it. Yes. And everything in it as well, the fish. Oh. When we, when we okay. come over and look at this over here, what are you capturing in this combination of rock and water? Well, um, I, I have been representing waves, different ways. This I call a peacock <laughs> <laughs> a wave. Peacock. And, and over there in another painting, I have a choir wave. And it's like it's singing, or it reminds you of something else. It's, it's over here. This would be... It's almost like angels singing in a choir. But, you know, again, it's like these, the, the light refraction that is interacting with, with the sunlight or the sunset um, gives a, a feeling of, of beingness more than a lot of people have, you know, would recognize. And I'd like to just ex express that, why I'd love to be by the water so much. Well, it, you have. I think you've really caught that. You've also opened up your home in a way that's also as open as, as what you're expressing in these seascapes. We sure appreciate 
you're taking us in and letting yeah. us be part of your group. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah.